We all love the feeling of receiving a long-awaited package in the mail, but do we ever think about the journey the package must endure? In order to understand neurotransmitters such as dopamine, first we need to understand neurons themselves. As an analogy, think of sending a package. The neurons are processing centers the package goes through on the way to its destination. And the neurotransmitters are the trucks that drive it from the shipping source to the processing centers and to its final destination. Depending on how far the package or message has to go, what the message entails, there can be multiple trucks or neurotransmitters and processing centers or neurons on its journey. Dopamine is a chemical molecule that acts as a messenger, which transmits information between brain cells. This type of chemical messenger in the brain is called a neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitters travel across the brain and bind to molecules called receptors. The receptors then relay the signal carried by the neurotransmitter from one cell to another. Different neurotransmitters are made in different parts of the brain and have varying functions. Dopamine is produced in brain areas called the substantia nigra, the ventral tegmental area, and the hypothalamus. The human nervous system takes in information through our senses, processes the information, and triggers reactions. The signals sent by the nervous system are electrical signals called nerve impulses transmitted by special nervous system cells named neurons or nerve cells. A nerve signal is transferred from one neuron to the next using neurotransmitters such as dopamine at the synaptic cleft. Previously synthesized dopamine is stored in vesicles by a transporter protein, VMAT2, which allows for a ready supply of dopamine. As the signal reaches the axon terminal, it stimulates the opening of channels. This allows calcium to flow into the cell and triggers the dopamine-containing vesicles to fuse with the membrane and release their content into the synaptic cleft. Dopamine in the cleft can either bind to autoreceptors, which trigger a negative feedback, or dopamine receptors on the postsynaptic cell membrane. As dopamine binds to its receptors, it activates signaling pathways within the postsynaptic cells, which eventually lead to the generation and propagation of a new signal. After causing a response, dopamine can dissociate from its receptor and diffuse out of the cleft, where it is broken down by various enzymes. It can also be transported back to the presynaptic cell with the help of a dopamine active transporter. In the presynaptic cell, dopamine can be metabolized by monoamino oxidase or taken back up into vesicles again with the help of VMAT2. Dopamine is important for many of our daily behaviors. Dopamine from the ventral tegmental area is released into the brain when receiving a reward. This tells the brain that this experience is worth getting more of. Dopamine produced from the substantia nigra helps us begin movements in speech. Other important roles of dopamine include modulation of attention, learning, emotions, addiction, and reinforcement. Dopamine influences many organ systems of the body, such as the immune system, gastrointestinal system, renal system, and cardiovascular system. It also plays physiological roles in the feeling of nausea, reproductive behaviors, the retina, and maternal lactation. There are four major dopamine pathways, which include the mesolimbic pathway, nigrostriatal pathway, mesocortical pathway, and tubero-infundibular pathway. One of the major dopamine pathways includes the mesolimbic pathway. The ventral tegmental area in the midbrain projects dopamine to the nucleus accumbens and olfactory tubercle. The area is connected to the brain's limbic system so it controls reward and emotion. In the mesocortical pathway, 
dopamine moves from the ventral tegmental area to the prefrontal cortex. Increased dopamine in this pathway will lead to heightened mood, whereas a decrease in dopamine will lead to boredom. In the nigra striatal pathway, dopamine projects from the substantia nigra pars compacta, or SNC, to the caudate putamen nucleus. This plays an essential role in the control of voluntary movement. As for the tubero infundibular pathway, it sends dopamine from the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland. This release causes circulation through the pituitary gland, which then secretes hormones like prolactin. The dopamine signaling pathways are potentially involved in the onset and progression of some diseases in the nervous system, such as Parkinson's, Huntington's disease, and addiction, that included neurodegeneration and altered expression of dopamine receptors in the striatum. Others included schizophrenia and attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder, with symptoms attributed to altered neurotransmission and dopaminergic dysfunction. Sometimes trucks can get into accidents. There could be traffic, or processing centers can experience malfunctions. These sporadic events can affect the process of sending a package from point A to point B. Similarly, the neurotransmission of dopamine can be altered throughout the process, affecting the receival of that package. Therefore, in order for dopamine to exert its proper neurological and physiological functions, the pathways that are responsible for the processing and shipping of the package, or dopamine, need to be finely tuned together. <laughs>